In 2014, the world was confronted by a changing face of conflict. We documented killings, indiscriminate attacks, sexual violence, ethnic cleansing, abductions committed by state forces, but also increasingly by non-state armed groups whose rising power presents a new challenge for those who are striving to protect human rights. Government leaders have justified horrific human rights violations by talking of the need to keep the world safe. But we know that knee-jerk reactions and draconian anti-terror laws do not work. Amnesty International is accusing the Nigerian military of killing more than 600 released prisoners. Uh, we did some things that were wrong. We did a whole lot of things that were right, but we tortured some folks. The shocking indifference and complacency demonstrated by governments and key international bodies. They chose to look the other way. We want world leaders to confront the changing face of conflict. We want a real commitment and complete change in tactics. In the future, this year may come to be known as a year of historic failure for progress in human rights. Permanent members of the Security Council must renounce their veto powers in situation of mass atrocities, which would enable the United Nations to take real action to protect civilians. C'est parce que les événements récents, en particulier en Syrie, ont montré que le Conseil de sécurité, lorsqu'il ne peut pas agir, euh, n'assume pas ses responsabilités et que les conséquences sont terribles pour les populations civiles. Nous comptons beaucoup sur le soutien d'Amnesty International pour continuer notre action de plaidoyer et nous allons ensemble développer des actions de manière à convaincre le plus de monde possible dans les opinions publiques, et dans les fondations, les institutions, auprès des gouvernements de la justesse de cette idée. Amnesty International has warned the EU's immigration policy is turning the continent into fortress Europe and putting lives at risk. Instead of paying lip service to the plight of refugees, governments must commit both political and financial resources to assist and protect those displaced. I've been a relief worker and a human rights worker for more than 30 years. I have never seen as many people fleeing from conflict, from human rights abuse, from war as now. I support this call on governments to receive refugees and to provide protection to those who need it the most, people who flee from violence. Amnesty International now claims to have concrete proof of direct Russian military involvement in the conflict. Another crucial step would be to join and implement the arms trade treaty and to further restrict the use of explosive weapons with wide area effect in populated areas. That alone can save thousands of lives. Закончила рабочий день и пошла за помощью. И в этот период произошел выстрел. It is equally important to confront the shrinking space for civil society and continued attacks on freedom of expression, both on and offline. We will make sure that nobody can say, I did not know. We will stand with victims, their families, activists, to demand justice. Amnesty International believes that even at times like this, that may seem bleak, it is possible to create change change for a safer world without compromising our fundamental rights and freedoms.